I wish more people understood what happened to Ethereum in 2016, and it's one of the biggest reasons why Polkadot is built the way that it is. This is the story of the Ethereum hard fork. In April of 2016, less than one year after Ethereum was launched, a group of investors decided to pull $150 million of Ethereum into a smart contract protocol. It was called the DAO and became one of the largest crowdfunding campaigns in history. But just a couple of months later, some users found a vulnerability in the code and siphoned out $50 million. And this sparked a huge controversy. Most of the community wanted to roll back and fix the blockchain, restore users' funds, and create an upgraded or forked blockchain. But some users believed that the code was law and should be followed no matter what. Ultimately, the community voted to hard fork the chain and restore users' funds. But this created two entirely different blockchains, Ethereum Classic and Ethereum. But here's the thing. Upgrading shouldn't require splitting a community and creating a whole new blockchain. This is why Polkadot is built on Substrate, allowing for forkless upgrades. If you want to learn more about the Polkadot ecosystem, subscribe!